of beauty's love Because I know I can face tomorrow And I face a world of young Because you live To the Papa De Koki De Goro Bajire You tore it servant of the most high God as the president of a nation has the power and authority to speak and make things happen not because of his physics or outside power or muscles or masculine because of the force behind him the Bible says in the book of Psalms 91 that a thousand may be against me Million may be against me. Trillion may be planning and conspiring against me like they did for Daniel. Like they did for Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Like they did for Joseph, sold him for silver. Thinking it is his end, his end, but it was the beginning of his life to grow it. Billions, trillions may be against me, Psalm 91, but they cannot touch me because I have the force more powerful than that of a president of a nation, more than that prime minister of a nation, more than that leader of a nation, who have the powerful force of the army and police and almighty power behind him. And we bulletproof banker for protection and all kind of protection. The Bible says, not by might, not by my own physics or by my own physical appearance or masculine, but by the power of the Holy Spirit. As the president and the leader of a nation have a powerful and authority behind him, he has the power of the commander of the army of all powerful force. Those who believe in the Lord Jesus sincerely have the power, not because of their own power, 
because of the power of the living God. The Bible says in Psalm 91, thousand may be against you, thousand may be against me, millions and trillions, but they cannot touch me. I will observe in my eyes the punishment of the wicked. It is the truth of the word of God which is my security, which is your security. Thou shalt know the truth, John 8, 32, and that truth will set you free. That by the power of the Holy Spirit, by the power of Jesus, by the blood of Jesus, the Bible says in Revelation chapter 12, not we're going to defeat Satan, kingdom, his satanic clue, his satanic crew, satanic demonic movement of Satan, Antichrist, and false prophet. We're going to defeat it by the blood of the Lamb and the word of the testimony. Revelation chapter 12, not because of our own power, but by the power of the blood of Jesus and the word, the testimony that Jesus resurrected, died and resurrected and died for us. And with him, by believing we have salvation, by the testimony what God has done for us, by the testimony that Jesus says, Mind you, mind you, you're going to have trouble in this world, but I have overcome the world. We have a security at the very end, at the very end, at the very end, starting at the very end, there is a victory. Jesus said, I have overcome the world. And he gave us assurance, I have, I will be with you to the very end. Matthew chapter 28, I will be with you to the very end. I will be with you. Preach, baptize, make known the mystery of this gospel. Never sh keep quiet your mouth. And the gospel, Matthew 24, 14, shall be preached to the whole world. When you open the TV, and the gospel will continue. When you open the internet, and the gospel will continue. When you open the radio, and the gospel will continue. When you open the WhatsApp, and the gospel will continue. When you open the Twitter, then the gospel will continue. When you open the YouTube and the gospel will continue, when you walk on the Lord and the gospel will continue, and Matthew the 24, 15, 14, and this gospel of the kingdom will be preached to the whole world as a living testimony that you have had, I have had. You will not give an excuse, I didn't hear. Everyone will be made known, will be made to know the truth. So you will not escape, you will not give an excuse. Any form of media you open, the gospel shall continue, and the gospel shall, shall be preached. And Jesus said this, and you are told to repent, and these are the last days, these are the days of the last transfer, these are the days of the beginning of the child, Reba, of a mother about to give birth, these are the days of Jacob trouble, these are the days of Job trouble. These are the days of Samson trial. These are the days of Job trial. These are the days of Joseph trouble. These are the days of Hannah trouble. These are the days of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. These are the days of Daniel. These are the days of Elijah. These are the days God is saying that we shall not is the bar God for food. We shall not worship the demonic forces for living as a rider refused. We're gonna refuse by the power of the blood of Jesus. The Bible says in Daniel chapter 11 and chapter 12, those who know their God shall assist to the very end. They shall understand the evil steam of the enemy. The Bible says in 2nd Thessalonian, 2nd Thessalonian chapter 2, the secret power of darkness is at work. The secret power. Jesus, when he was dying, he told his disciples, pray, you don't enter to temptation. You, though the, though the power of darkness is at work, though satanic rope is at work, though evil power and mystic power of the enemy is at work, Jesus gave us a password. Pray without ceasing. Pray, you don't enter to temptation. The power, the, the wise, the tactic, the power, the force, the authority of the devil is to make us not to pray. Is to make situation is to create an environment to create a circumstance to create a system we don't pray we don't go to god to prayer we don't do what god expects us to do to be 
able to grow from one guru to the other in the spiritual house, building our spiritual house, so that when Jesus will come, we shall be likened, our body will be likened to his body. Our body will be like his body, and our body will be changed, will be like Jesus' body. God wants us to grow from one glory to the other. Keep growing, keep growing, keep growing. And when he come, we our body will be likened to his. But the enemy tactics, the power of the devil, is to create a system, is to make us disobey God. The biggest power of the devil and the way the devil can attack us is to and attack you is to make you not to do the will of God. And by that, you don't have a protection. You don't have a cover. The Bible says in Numbers 23 that there's no curse against Israel. The children of God wanted to be cursed. The king gave money to the prophet to, to cast the children of God and gave a lot of money, but the prophet could not cast them. But what they did, they made them sin with the foreign women. If you can read in chapter 24 of Numbers, chapter 25, you see when they sin with the foreign women, they were able to be defeated by the enemy because the cover, the canopy of God was no longer there. The power of the devil is to remove the canopy of God, is to remove the canopy, is to make us sin is to make us break the law of God. Remember, these are the last days. The power of the enemy, the force of the enemy, the secret of the enemy, the wise of the enemy, the power of the devil is to make you sin. The power of the devil is in the lies. His native language, his native language is a lie. Cheating, wise, intrigue. And to pain, his language is just to make you feel down, to cheat you, to make you discourage his power, his ultimate power, his ultimate dragnet, his ultimate dragnet to remove the canopy is to make us, to remove the cover is to make us sin, to make us break the law. You can break the law in many ways, break the law, I mean the law of God. Any thing that's not in the line of the word of God. The devil can make us do anything that's not in the line of the word of God. The aim of the devil in these last days is to create a system, is to create a situation, is to create a, a circumstance, is to create a system of us living that we do not pray. For example, a lot of the devil is taking advantage. There's nothing wrong with the media, but the enemy uh, and a social media and uh, appealing technology. Nothing wrong with them. But how does the devil use them to, for his own advantage? Is to make us so busy chatting, so busy uh, watching an essential movie on the YouTube. It is make us uh, get uh, over, over addicted into technology. Every time chatting, every time sending nice picture, watching glamorous image on the internet, you are addicted into chatting in the Twitter, in the Facebook, in the WhatsApp. I thank God there are people used by God to, to use the same, we use the same technology to spread the word of God, to share a word of God, to preach someone who is down somewhere. That's why the Bible says the gospel shall be preached to the whole world so that everybody will know. God will have a system for it. No, technology is a good way to make people know God because people are sharing the word of God. When you are, you can share something now and from here it go to thousand miles or million miles within a tip of a second. So there's no way you can escape. You, you have to hear the gospel. But how is the enemy taking advantage of the technology? Is making us addicted, doing non-essential things in the technology. So that you, we don't have a system to pray. The aim of the enemy is to create a system that we don't pray. One way is taking advantage of appealing, enticing, tempting technology. So you're always busy doing an essential things on the internet, on the force up, on the mobile, on the Twitter, mm. on, the, on the Facebook. Another way is to bring very, very convincing issue in your marriage. Very, very convincing issue to bring laboring, bickering, and fighting in your marriage. So you always fighting and say and, and, and give you pride and say you cannot do this to me. You cannot. So you rise, the other one rise, the couple rise, the other one rise. So you don't have time to pray. The aim of the enemy is to create a situation, a system, a circumstance. You don't pray. Jesus, when he was dying, he told his disciple, 
Pray you don't enter to temptation. Pray you don't enter to temptation. When he's coming from out of Mount Oriv, wearing the white garment, he met his disciples sleeping and he told them, Pray you don't enter to temptation. The aim of the enemy is to create a system that we don't pray so that we break the law of God. Those shall know the truth, and the truth shall set you free. It is the truth of the word of God that set us free, that we are able to be, be, live a victorious Christian life by feeding the spiritual man. Because if you are a Christian, you have two nature. You have the spiritual nature and the and the physical, which is the body. So the enemy is always making us feed the body. So we forget the spirit man. The spirit man is always fed when you read the word of God, apply it in your life. You pray and fast in sincerity. You read the word of God. You're always praising God. So you, you, tell, you see that you're living a victorious Christian life because you're always thinking about the things of God. The Bible says in the book of New Testament that set your mind on things above. How can you, you let your spirit man focus on things of God? By praying every day, reading the word of God, uh, praising and worship, adoring God in sincerely worship. So that's the only way we have spirit man leading and which is not prone to sin. The body is always prone to sin. Don't be deceived by anyone. No one is secure. No one is insulated. Like this insulation, there is wire inside, is insulated. So that doesn't electrocute us. So there's insulation with the plastic inside, there is wire, electricity inside. So if you remove, you get, get electrocuted, but we put insulation so we don't get electrocuted. So there's no one insulated like this if you're working with the body. Do not be deceived by anyone. It doesn't matter how powerful the preacher is. Without working with the new nature, you are prone to sin. You can sin any time if the body is on top but if you're praying the real word of god in your life feeding the spiritual man waking early in the morning to pray always thinking about god praying and applying the word of god practically in your life you always live a victorious christian life praying without ceasing don't be deceived by anyone without feeding the spiritual man you live a, a defeated christian life so the aim of the devil the power of the devil, the authority of the devil is when he makes us sin and break the law of God. Every Christian person, every saint of God, every true Christian has a cover. And the enemy, the power of darkness, the evil root of the enemy cannot touch you. Like if you read Numbers 23, 23, the children of God had a canopy. They could not be touched by cast of Barak, the Barak of Baram, who was casting them after being given money by the king. Because they had a cover. How did the enemy make the cover go away? By sending foreign women to serve with them and the cover was gone. So the enemy always remove the canopy, the cover of God, when he make us uh, uh, break the law of God. Remember the power of the devil, the secret of the enemy. The Bible says in 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, the secret power of the enemy is at work. You will not know it, but we, you need to pray. So the uh, secret power of the enemy is to remove this cover. How the, is he making us remove this cover in these last days? Enticing, attempting technology. When you open everywhere, there's glamorous images. People, there is, our society is rotten. People walk almost naked. They expose their body. There is all form of demonic uh, activity and sexual living. People marrying male to male, women to women. So the, as the society is rotten. There is no red mark to show us where we are going. When we are going to the city, long time ago when you are a child, and the city is very complicated town, like a very big city, you cannot know how to negotiate or to go to a point A to B. You look at a big building and say, I always check at that building. I always look at that red mark. I always use this one to reach that point. For me to go to that point, I have to look at that high building. Nowadays, when you are going to God, we have the word of God. We have things that guided us. The custom, people had a custom where they live with the social norm that made them live according to the will of God. So the social norm of us Christian, we follow the word of God. We do the word of God. These last days, there is no red mark to show where we are going. You can marry who you want. You can marry as much as you want. It's a free world. You can do whatever you can do to your body. You can do whatever you can do to your hair. It is 
no radima you can go to church and get married together men and men women and women there is no radima to show us where we are going the society is rotten these the enemy is taking advantage the society is rotten so that is why the enemy is taking advantage to remove the canopy the cover the bible say in isaiah I think chapter 3 uh, the beginning first chapters of isaiah that uh, where there is the god declare that this is my house this is my israel this is my sin he put a cover with the smoke and fire that no one can touch no one can go there everyone has a cover whoever is a christian but the enemy has taken advantage of the advancement in technology as the system get a uh, growth into the new civilization and a liberalization the enemy is taking advantage where the society has no radmark the the system is so rotten that to live a holy life is difficult the bible says in second second timothy chapter three in the last days self-control will be very minimal people will have no self-control why because the system will not allow them to there is no that seriousness in the word of god when you read the same chapter second Thessalonians, second timothy chapter three that there will be a form of worship denying the power of god and the bible say get away from me there will be a form of worship denying the power of the Holy Spirit or the power of God. You need to get rid of such kind of worship. The Bible also says in the book of Psalms of Proverbs that there is a way that seems right to a man, but it will lead to the way of death. It will be there in the last days. There will be a lot of fake plastic religion, fake plastic pastor, fake and and false prophet the bible say clearly in the book of first Peter, i think chapter two or second chapter chapter two that the false prophet will be so much deceiving deception the deception will be on the rise so the power of the enemy is to make us sin there's no other power satan can have he can make you sin by spreading lies to you he can make you feel discouraged distort in your mind. In the last day, they use mind control, where they destroy your mind. They feed you with the minds that make you feel mentally, like mentally sick. The enemy, he can use even anyone close to you. Remember Hannah, how he was tormented by Penina, just destroying her mind. The enemy will send people to mock you, to insult you, so you don't feel like you can pray. And, and also, uh, mind boggling where you are overwhelmed, you are given things that overwhelm you, you don't understand, what does this mean? The enemy will target to torture your mind, mind control, torturing, so that you have no power to, or uh, power to pray to God, or that uh, morale. This and the last page. The power of the enemy is to make you to remove the cover of the living God. You can do that many times, many ways. Destroying or making your mind, distressing your mind in various ways. You know many ways you can get distressed by people, by things, by system, by, by, by things that come to you like problem in marriage, problem in your family, problem in your work, problem in your church, problem in like diseases. The enemy will try all means to destroy. He always target to destroy your foundation. This house has a foundation. When that foundation is destroyed, the house falls. The enemy power is to try to destroy a foundation through many ways. We see, because Jesus lived, we can be able to live a victorious Christ. Not because of our power, the Bible says, because of the power of the Holy Spirit. I can raise you. Because you know, I, you hold my future change. I will always live a Christian, victorious one. Because Jesus, you live, I will always live a victorious Christian. Life. Because I know the secret of victorious Christian life. Every time.
Jesus Christ is holy.